We're all very proud of our regular season. Going from being picked to finish eighth to finish tied for third, I think is just incredible. The people in our locker room, in our offices, were the ones that really believed in ourselves and each other that we could do a lot better than we were predicted. And, you know, although that season is over, um, I want us to all feel very proud of what we were able to do. Obviously, March is a new season, and uh, we're very excited about that opportunity coming up. Amaya West was our first player we signed when we were hired and Deja Hamilton wasn't far behind her and to have these two in our program that have been through the ups and downs and highs and lows and now are seniors that are amazing leaders to our younger players. They've been so inclusive with anybody that's come into our program. Um, they lead the way with consistency and the standards and you know I got to put Nia and Ali in there as well because they're third year players and without those four we don't have the season that we have. We talk about leaving your legacy when you move on from our program and you graduate from here, and their impact is going to be felt years to come because they've allowed us to continue to recruit high character people, great basketball players, and these younger players are gonna know how to be great leaders when they're in the position that those four are in right now. We really want to focus on ourselves and the things that we need to do to put ourselves in a position to be successful. I think the recovery aspect changes a little bit when you play three games in three days. Taking care of your body, taking care of your mind, taking care of your emotions are so important to having quick turnarounds and being your best self on game day. In tournament time, you really got to stay in the moment. When you get outside and worry about winning or losing, that just distracts you from what you need to be focused on. And I think just being able to stay present, have tough responses when things don't go your way, um, and then having different people ready to step up. If somebody's not having a good game or you know someone's in foul trouble or playing less minutes than normal, just having other people really confident and ready to come in and help your team. Can you talk about the quarterfinal matchup with Air Force? Yeah, you know, I think they're really good. They're extremely good defensively, and they've just continued to get better throughout the season, I think, and like gain confidence on offense. So, um, you know, it's a really tough matchup for us, and we've played them twice, both very close games. And the second time we played them, they weren't at full strength, so I don't think that was necessarily indicative of how good they really are. Um, but I think it's going to be a tough first round matchup. Talk about what it would mean to get that shot at UNLV in the tournament. Yeah, you know, we just had a really tough game with them at their place, and we had a tough game with them at our place. Obviously, they're an extremely good team. They won our conference outright, and that was well-deserved. They were the most consistent team from start to finish over the course of conference play. And it's still a rivalry game. I think that always holds a little more weight for both teams. You're kind of playing for bragging rights in your state. But for us, it's one game at a time, and you're going to play whoever wins the next part of the bracket. And so, you know, we're not looking past the first game right now at all. You know, we, we need to take care of our business and play well against Air Force. And if we're fortunate enough to win that game, we got to get ready for that next opponent pretty quickly that night.